So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with another playlist of arrays searching. So today's question name is subarray with given sum. It's an easy category question. And uh, if you can see that it has been asked in Amazon, Facebook, Google and Visa. The topic tags here are searching, sliding window, prefix sum, right? So let us read this question and then understand well, how the input output is coming and what are all the possible approaches to solve this question. So given an unsorted array of size n that contains only positive integers, we need to find a sub array that adds to a given number and return the left to right one base indexing. Okay, so we one base indexing return karna of that sub array. In case multiple sub arrays possible, return the sub array indexes which comes first on moving from left to right. Okay, okay, so this question is like this. Let's say you have this given this input 1, 2, 3, 7 and 5. So, here you can see sub array with given sum. So, you can clearly see that this, this, this will be the first sub array 2, 3, and 7, which contributes the sum as 12, right? So, one possible sub array is 2, 3, 7. The second possible sub array is 7, 5, which is also contributing to 12. And I don't think any other possible sub arrays are there, right? Okay, I need to take the one which comes first from the left. So, definitely from the left, if I see from the left, then this is the sub array. I will encounter first that is a 237 this index I will encounter first if I see from the left right so this is our answer and we need to return the one base indexing so if I write zero base indexing it is 0 1 2 3 and 4 if I return the one base indexing then this will become 2 1 2 3 4 5 right so I need to return 2 and 4 and that's what is the output given correct take so what would be the method one method one care we need to find the sub array with given sum. So let us find all the sub arrays possible and compare if the sum of those all sub arrays have the sum equals to the given sum, right? To find all the sub arrays, what is the complexity involved? What is the approach we can do? It is n square, right? We just need two for loop that is running from i to n and then we need an another for loop which is running from j equals to i to n. Right, and that's it. We will cover all the possible sub arrays. So, if I just give you an example, so for one, two, and three, what will happen? For i equals to one, it will cover one. It will cover one, two. It will cover one, two, and three. For i equals to two, it will cover two. It will cover two, three. For i equals to three, it will cover three. Right. So these are all the possible sub arrays. Right. These are all the possible sub arrays. That is three. You uh, three plus two five six six possible arrays for this three elements. Right. Okay, we want the first sub array which have the sum equals, right? So for every sub array, first we will initialize sum equals to zero, and then we will keep on doing sum plus equals to array of j, right? And I and I will check that if if sum is equals to if sum is equals to the my given s, right? So if sum is equals equals to the given s, then what I will do? Let's say these two thing has to uh, stored in an array list, right? With the name as AL, right? So I will say AL dot add what I plus one, right? And AL dot add what J plus one, correct? And then we will just break from here. We will say that we have found an answer. Let us make a more Boolean variable. So we will mark as found equals to true. And then we break from here, right? So this will break our first nested for loop and then we need to check here as well that if if found then break from the outer loop as well right let us make a flag variable found which is pointing to false initially right and yes if none of the possible sub arrays are possible then we need to return minus one so we need an extra if at the last of the nested for loop so please pause this video here try to code this approach by yourself and let us resume again okay so that's the java code here let us hit the summit button so what is the time complexity and space so the time is n square and if you see the constraint 10 power 5 right so and we are using 10 n square so definitely 10 power 5 square would be 10 power 10 which is greater than 10 power 8 and if we want a solution our code to get summit we must code the approach in less than 10 power 8 operations and that is why you will find okay we have a wrong answer here let me just check it okay so i have not included one more case where if if any of the sub arrays are not possible then we need to return minus one right in my case it's returning an empty rls let me handle that
Yes, great. I have handled that thing. So, what's the space complexity? It is O of n. Oh no, it is O of 1. We are not uh, using any additional data structure, right? To store our answer. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check again now. Okay, it's running well now, and you can see that 1020 test cases passes, and for the rest of it, we got the TLE because for the rest of them, definitely the iterations would be exceeding 10 per 8. So, the mistake that we were doing is that we were writing this if, if condition inside the nested for loop. That is, we, we do not have to do that, right? After considering all the possible subarrays, we are coming out and we are checking that if, if none of the possible subarrays are found using this found variable, then we push minus 1 and we uh, return our array list, right? So, what is the optimized technique now so instead of moving instead of considering all the possible sub arrays let us use a sliding window technique so what happens here in sliding window technique is let us assume that we have elements 1 2 3 7 and 5 and sum is 12 right so we will keep a variable sum which will keep the track of our current elements the sum of the current elements right the indexes here are 0 1 2 3 and 4 so if we are using a window then definitely there would be a start pointer and end pointer right so initially we have start at 0 and end at 0 right so the sum is 1 we will do sum is 1 so we will be at the first index now the sum is 1 plus 2 is 3 then 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 7 is 13 now I can clearly see that my current sum is exceeding my target sum then definitely I need to remove the elements from this window window now one question goes to you that which element you want to remove which element you want to remove you want to remove from the end or you want to remove from the uh, start definitely we'll remove from the start right because we were direction and we found we were finding the elements and we were maintaining the sum right so at this point if i know that my current sum is greater than my target sum so without moving from start and just going ahead blindly we will again get a sum greater than our target sum right so that's why we will remove the element from the start we will remove the element from start and we will increment our pointer to step start uh, start plus plus and we will mark this pointer as end right so what would be the pseudo code for this thing which i just uh, uh, told you so what we can do is let me write the code as well so for i equals to 0 till n we will move and i will say that sum plus equals to array, array of i i will check if my if my sum is greater than equals to my target sum then we will first mark the end end point of that window right we will mark the end as i and then we don't know that how many elements we need to remove from the top from the start to get the sum less than equals to target sum right in here we saw ki hum agar pehla element hi hatae to kaam ho ja raha hai but ho sakta hai ki ek element ke hatane se kaam nahi ho sakta tha right so whenever we don't know that how many iterations we need to perform how many uh, processing we need to perform in particular bunch of elements so what we do we use a while loop so i will say while my current sum is greater than the target sum right i need to remove the elements and my window should not be over right my window should present there then only i can move the element so this start less than end is ensuring that point and i will say my current sum is nothing but minus equals to array of start and i will do plus plus here itself i could have written start plus in the line as well but you know, that's that would be like uh, more lines of code right okay so we have understood uh, this point this everything is in the if condition now we know that our window let me change the color not we know that my window is now this thing the elements 2 3 and 7 right and the sum here is reduced from 13 minus 2 to 12 and i can clearly see that my target sum matches the my current sum right so if that's the case there will be one more if then if sum my current sum is equal to target sum then i just need to push the indexes so i will push i plus one then i will push what end plus one start plus one and end plus one and that's it that's it this will these all will handle our every aspect so here the for loop opens here it closes, and at last i will just check if found if not found right then i will add a minus one and here we will we will mark found equals to true and then we break from here right 
Understood? And so let it let me do a one more example. So let us see the elements are one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and the sum here is fifteen, right? So what will happen? Sum will now one, then three, then six, then ten, then fifteen. So we will fall in this case. My sum is now greater than equals to my target sum. So I will update. I will update my window end here, right? And my start is here. Now I will check if sum now. This particular sum, current sum is greater than equals to actually my target sum. So, uh, I so d will I be running this while loop or not? While loop will run only your current sum is less than your uh, your current sum is greater than your target sum. हमारा जो sum है अपने target sum से छोटा बड़ा होगा तभी हम इसे छोटे करने के लिए start से remove करेंगे. But that's not the case here, right? So this while loop will not run, and then the second f will take place, and it will push start plus one. That is index zero. One, two, three, four. So it will start plus one. It will push one, and then n plus one. That is five. And one comma five would be the answer for this particular question. We didn't. We we need not need to check further because the question clearly says that you need to return the sub array which is more closer to left hand side, right? Now please pause this video here, and it is highly encouraged for you guys to please try on some more examples if you are. Uh, getting difficulty in understanding and also you can revert back the video some minutes back and you can watch it great let me do the edit in this java code and then we can resume okay so that's the changes we need to require the boolean found remain as it is the start and end pointer is needed for the slider winding te window technique we have a sum variable in index to zero, and for each and every index, is we are incrementing a sum. And as soon as we have a sum greater than equals to s, we mark that i as the end of our window, and we check if that sum is actually greater. If our current sum is actually greater than the target sum, we start removing the elements from the starting index. Else, we move to the next case. Not else. If that is that thing is completed, we again check if that my current sum is equal to the target sum. Then we just directly push the starting index and ending index in our answer at a list, and we mark the found as true and we break it from there, right? And at last we check that if none of the sub arrays are possible, then we push minus one as said by the question and we return that at a list as our complete answer. Let us hit the submit button while it is submitting. What is the time complexity? We are using nothing but a simple for loop and two if statement inside the for loop. So it would be O of n, and n is pointing to 10 power 5, and 10 power 5 is definitely less than 10 power 8. So that is why this solution will get submitted, and we didn't get the marks because I think my last submission I done was 2021. So during my placement season, right? I guess it's yours. This time it's yours placement season. So uh, give your best. And all the best for the placement and congratulations we have solved these questions let us see the c plus s code and then we can move ahead okay so that's the c plus s code i don't think any walkthrough is required the same thing we have done as i have explained you in dry run and in java code so let me just scroll it through scroll it for you so that you can see the entire code and also don't worry these all the uh, links for this source code will mention in the description and you can start my fork my dsl repository start and fork my dsl repository get with the source code and uh, i'm always open to connection to you guys on instagram and linkedin so do connect with me uh, for any doubts and guidance if you may require or by any chance okay let us meet in the next video of our array searching playlist till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys